Hey, good morning, everyone. Um, just a just a kind of a quick um, bit amusing from this end on this Jan January fourteenth, twenty twenty one. Um, on Telegram, kind of listening to a bit of the chatter out there on what, what people are saying and doing, trying to find kind of the best avenues, the best groups to probably kind of follow along. Um, also just got finished listening to kind of Scott McKay on his channel. He's got uh, three channels. I think the first one, Tipping Point Radio, um, has either been nixed or I don't know. It's, you know, something happened to it. Um, he's now on his second one and he's got a back, backup one behind that where he uses for on, on YouTube. And um, I, these musings of mine, you know, I'm not like I've said in the past, I, I'm not really <laughs> don't really care, you know, if 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 um, if I get you know a lot of followings, it's not really my objective here. It's really just to. Um, I like to speak out loud, you know, what's on my mind and, you know, what I'm thinking, you know, whereas in the past people would just scribble down in a diary, if you will, what was on their mind and what was going on and, and what have you. It, 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 there's a bit of an outlet there. That's kind of what I'm using here. And if other people can benefit from it, I'm, you know, more than happy to, to kind of push that around. But that all being said, on the occasion I have an inspiration to put something out there, I'm trying to find you know, what's the best um, outlet. So because, you know, I'm no threat to anybody, um, you know, YouTube is probably the best place for me to put it. Um, YouTube, frankly, is fast on the uploads. I mean, my videos aren't very long, maybe 10, 15. I, I think I've made some that are as long as 20 minutes long, which is kind of long for me. But um, those videos go up pretty fast, and they're out there. Uh, the other platforms like Clout Hub. Um, uh, what, what's the Cloud Hub, Brightiana, and BitChute? Those are three of the ones that I have. I've, 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 I follow people, and so I've got an account to upload videos. Um, I've been doing that. Um, Cloud Hub has been a little disappointing because I've tried to upload some, but it just won't let me do it. So I don't know what's going on with Cloud Hub. There's so much going on right now. This this deep state war that we're in is 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 starting to really surface where most people are seeing it and these these social outlets these social forums are obviously being um infiltrated being shut down and keeping people from talking and sharing ideas so it seems like that's leaked over into cloud hub you know parlor obviously is down and out i saw something i saw a headline uh, this morning about where the, uh, the, the, the CXO there said it's probably not going to come back. So it, whatever. Um, but one of the, th I love Scott McKay. I mean, every time I listen to him, it's almost like listening to myself. Obviously he's much better informed and he's probably a better, better orator than I am, but, um, you have to just kind of trust the plan, um, be wary, um, understand that this, military action has been planned and in play for years back. Um, it's been thought out carefully. Um, the deep state is deep and broad and wide, and so it's not going to happen easily. And if we're talking about it, they're hearing it, and they can counter it. So obviously, anything that can be discussed in these forums is going to be discussed in such a way that it doesn't give them an edge. All right, it, it may in some in some instances um, be used to misdirect them. So there's a lot going on, and we can't get frustrated. I happen to be probably more at peace now than I have been in a long time. Take it for what it's worth. Um, right now, I've YouTube right now for me is becoming predominantly of value to me to to watch these you know multi hour kind of calm, relaxing kind of scenic videos. So I've got one right now which is kind of kind of a Christmassy snow time um video with some piano music in the background and there's others where there's like a drone footage across Norway or Ireland or the Netherlands or Hawaii. Um I just let that run all day long, listen to it, you know, peacefully in the background. That's predominantly what I've got on my TV. Um, I've, I've talked in the past about Pluto TV and t get, taking advantage of OAN, um, Newsmax, um, Voice of uh, Voice of America. 
you know, even they, to some extent, are starting to talk about stuff that's a little disconcerting. So I'm not really watching a whole lot of that. There's a few outlets that I go to to get to get a sense of what's going on. I, I, I try to follow Scott McKay as closely as possible. Um, as I've mentioned before, Simon Parks, uh, he's actually been kicked off of uh, YouTube and he might be using, um, you know, BitChute, Brighteon. There's a so you have to kind of you have to kind of dig and kind of follow these guys a little bit. Um, but uh, I think as a people, we need to, you know, find synergies amongst ourselves. We need to help and support each other, and we need not look to fight amongst each other. Because again, where we go, one we go all. And them dividing us is kind of paramount to their fight to win this. And as I've said before, we all need to kind of pick the path that we choose, the dark or the light. Um, I'm obviously of the light. That's the direction I want to go. I just want to help people. Um, um, friends of mine that I speak to more um, regularly, you know, I, you, you just, you can't get worked up by this. Let's think of it this way. Not that I think it's going to go this way, but regardless of which way it goes, do you want to be miserable as we traverse through this journey? Or do you want to enjoy the journey? I choose to enjoy it. I trust the plan. If the plan goes south, the plan goes south. But again, I, I have complete and ultimate faith. That it's not going to go that way. And don't think you know exactly what's going to happen and what's going to go down. Um, and I say that only because there's some chatter out there, and I don't know if it's true or not. I, I take it for what it's worth. Again, I keep an open mind. Uh, but I think uh, you know, 107 was kind of speaking yesterday, last night, and I was listening to him. And he said that this journey will see Biden and Kamala be sworn into the office. But it's part of the plan. There's things that have to happen for this to completely ensnare um, those uh, of the deep state. So if it comes to that, it comes to that. I, I've been saying all along, I just can't see that happening um, I think in my mind, my discernment, my objectivity, and my my view on the future and where this is going is that we the people will win. Um, we, the the new financial system and and the year to the year coming is going to be, I guess, glorious. I don't think I've said it in those words, but it's going that way. Now, what bumps along the way we go through to get there? I'm not sure if I just because I've got somewhat of a uh, of a uh, uh, a mental picture of how things have always been. I didn't see um, Biden and Kamala being sworn in. I saw that being Trump. But if it if the future evolves in a different way, then it evolves in a different way. I I just I just I guess I just trust the plan and I will wait and see what happens. So. I don't really have any huge points to bring up today other than to say um, these musings of mine, I'm, I'm trying to find um, a better place to put them. Um, I guess for now, you know, YouTube is kind of like my, my primary um, just because, you know, I, I'm more or less, you know, <laughs> irrelevant in the grand scheme of things. So I don't think anything's going to happen with my my outlets. Um, so if, and if it does, if for some reason I suddenly become, you know, at least a, ta a tad bit relevant, then maybe... Maybe that'll be of concern, but I am on YouTube. Um, I am on um, BitChute, uh, Rumble. Rumble's actually been pretty good as well, and um, and I'm on um, CloudHub, which I, again I've been having issues uploading videos there. So whatever. I I don't want this to be a huge thing for me. I have a day job. I'm just enjoying watching the show. Uh, once upon a time, just just as a, an experiment, I kind of did a some musings um videos and i kind of put them up there just 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 for fun just to see what the process was like and just to it just experience it if you will and that's become a little bit of a thing on my side now 
I don't have you know a cadence that I put these out there. It's usually if there's some form of an inspiration, if there's something going on, um, I'll, I'll do this. So anyway, um, kind of a quiet morning, at least for the moment. Um, I've got some stuff kind of going on, you know, later on this afternoon, but for the most part, it's a little quiet and I'm, I'm kind of thankful just because I, I do kind of want to pay attention to what's going on to some degree. I just, I would just urge you not to get yourself so wound around the axle watching this stuff, having your preconceived notions on how this should unfold and get worked up to a point where you become dysfunctional. Um, that's, that's not helping you. And that's not helping your um, your close family and friends. So take it for what it's worth. And when it comes to sharing what's going on and opening people's minds, the way I prefer to do it is plant the seeds. Don't have a conversation with someone that's completely asleep. Tell them all this stuff and beat them down with it until you feel like they are awake and understand it. I don't feel like that works. I know some people that take that approach and they get frustrated, upset, and angry. Plant the seed. Um, there are those out there that uh, when it came to Q, and I know there's a, a lot of speculation on is, is Q kind of real or not, if it's disinformation. That, that's, a, that's an aside. But they were unaware of who Q was, so I simply sent them the link to the, the QAnon kind of dot .pub site link, and then I just let it go. And they gradually kind of, kind of woke up on that realm. You know, Q, you can say what you want about the whole Q thing, and may, maybe it is disinformation and nefarious, but it it laid out their truths that woke a lot of people up, woke a lot of people up. So nefarious or not, there was a lot of truths in there that brought people and woke people up quite a bit. That then that then spurred them forward to research and dig and open up to other things. So that's my position on, on Q. Um, you know, th there's there were fanatics around it, and then there was, you know, people like me that are a little bit more kind of middle of the road, if you will. I've always been more open-minded. I'll listen. I'll take it in. I'll completely embrace and believe, or I'll say, that's interesting, I'll keep my mind open to other things along those lines as well. So in any event, that's kind of where I stand. So um, again, I continue to encourage people to kind of put their voice out there as well. Um, there's nothing, I mean, it, it's actually, it's, it, it's, it's medicinal in a lot of ways. It actually will help you um, kind of, feel better about what's going on. It can help you kind of vent out, if you will, you know, any frustrations or any ideas you have, you know, just like those people of day that would keep a diary that would help them give them an outlet to kind of effectively unload, you know, their thoughts and feelings. Um, I, I'm kind of using this the same way. So I would encourage you guys to do the exact same thing. Um, some people just prefer to text and chat and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I, I do a little bit of that as well, but I'd much rather do it this way. So I would encourage you guys to do the same thing. And um, you might find it, you know, relieving in a lot of ways. So look forward to hearing any, um, you know, feedback on my thoughts and enjoy the show.